You seek to define sex in this bill. Are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor. You are not a doctor. Are you a biologist? I'm not a biologist. Are you a scientist of any type? I am not a scientist. Do you know what the differences are between primary sex and secondary sex characteristics? Sure. What are they? Can you explain that to me? You know, primary sex characteristics, you know, biological features, secondary, probably, you know, emotional, you know, basically anything that I would consider not, you know, I guess primary, like visual, biological. The doctor behind you is shaking his head no. This is Missouri Republican Chris Lonsdale, who cannot answer simple questions over a bill he presented himself. I'm curious um, if you're familiar with the Missouri Supreme Court decision from 2019, uh, RMA v. Blue Springs. I'm not. Okay. I'm curious, how many times on average would you say you use the bathroom every day? I don't know. Three times. You should hydrate. Um, <laughs> um, are you familiar with Title VII? Like Title VII law? I'm not. Are you familiar with the fact that Title VII law and Title IX law are generally read together when it comes to definitions? Uh, I'm not. Okay. Um, so are you familiar with the Bostock case, the Supreme Court case, I'm Bostock not. versus Clinton County? I'm not. Okay. So someone that was assigned female at birth in another state and then got their birth certificate changed to male comes to Missouri and uses the men's restroom under your bill? Supposedly. So if I'm in there and then somebody who is authorized to use that bathroom because of their gender identity is in there, don't, wouldn't, could they possibly be arrested or how does that work? And he flat out embarrassed himself at the state capitol. Another student is in there. And then the middle schooler goes into the faculty bathroom, not knowing that that student is in there. Have they just violated a law under your bill? Let's discuss. To give an idea of who this monster is, look no further than his policies. He would say of his time at the University of Missouri, you definitely got the feeling that conservatives weren't welcome and that we were certainly the minority on campus. So what is his plan? Attack diversity, equity, and inclusion. Pass bills to ban diversity statements in higher ed. And then adding this, and I quote, we're definitely taking looks at that type of stuff and seeing what we can do to basically not have ideological enforcers of the Democrat Party within the higher education system. What? Pedro Rodriguez of CampusReform.org put in his piece, asked about his other concerns regarding higher ed in Missouri. Lonsdale also criticized the lack of due process on school campuses, saying, quote, we have these almost kangaroo courts for student conduct where someone can accuse you of something and it's totally outside of the police and it's all governed within the University of Missouri system. And there has been a lot of troubling reports of students getting expelled, students getting suspended, and they didn't really have due process rights. I would love some examples here. He has made attacking trans people a point. Two bills filed by Republican reps Lonsdale and Ben Baker would require public schools to only allow students to use multiple use restrooms that match their biological sex. The bills would allow for accommodations for trans students, such as use of faculty locker rooms with written permission from a parent. The St. Louis Dispatches editorial board would write, Rest easy, Missouri. Your state legislators are courageously confronting what is apparently the most dire threat facing residents. No, not unchecked proliferation of firearms, which has given Missouri among the highest gun death rates in the country. No, it's not not grossly underpaid teachers, understaffed, poorly performing school systems, not inadequate infrastructure, which is still among the country's worst. What lawmakers in Jefferson City have been diligently focused on is stamping out the growing scourge of trans rights. They would continue. A little over 1% of people in the United States identify as trans with far fewer who actually undergo medical or surgical gender-related treatment. Yet finding ways to restrict the medical options and societal rights 
of trans citizens and even deny their very existence has once again been designated a front burner issue by the legislature's controlling Republicans.